any one wind project doesn't have a capacity value because the wind is here and then it goes on and we call the wind intermittent. The wind in isn't intermittent, our collection system is. So if you scatter the collection system across six states, the wind is always blowing somewhere and you can catch it at different places. So there's an opportunity to take advantage of the benefits of a larger power system, power grid system, that our federal government owns and operates. So we want to partner as treaty partners with the federal government on a tribal wind, federal hydropower, um, clean energy dynamo, if you will. The opportunity is there for that to happen. And we need the political will to make it so. Um, our president could decarbonize the federal grid, if you will, that the feds own and operate um, by looking at bringing tribal renewables into that mix and seeing it as just as much a government instrumentality, a government project, tribal government, as the dams were federal government projects. And coupling the two would not only give the region clean energy, but it would also build tribal economies based on renewable energy. So local economies to the poorest communities in the country and the only communities that the federal government has legal treaty-based obligations to assist in economic development, we could fulfill those, those promises and build a renewable energy economy that the tribes could have and operate for employment and for their own energy development and for projects that depend on energy. If you look at housing and house design, architectural design, or just in North America, uh, but if you look at it worldwide indigenously, um, you find such a variety of housing designs and architectural techniques and styles, uh, all using local material. We've looked at one in the Great Plains, which was straw bale construction. And uh, some of the pioneers who were building soddies, uh, houses built from sod cut out of the soil, held together by the roots uh, in rich soil, you could stack that and build a house out of it. Use earthen plaster uh, on either side to make a tight fitting wall system. These can reduce your energy bills by 70%. And really, this is what you need to do first before you start building wind turbines or putting in big solar systems. Reduce the amount of energy you're dependent upon. We're right now working with projects with the tribal colleges because here's uh, our institutions that have been around for some of them 30, 35 years. They're, they're lasting. Training people through the tribal colleges ends up with buildings that now belong to the tribal college. They can be used as classrooms or student housing or, or teacher housing. Um, but it's also a great way to give more people exposure as public buildings to how these buildings function. You can use modern science and monitor you know, these buildings to, uh, for, you know, for years and see actually in numbers how well they perform and you're training local communities to, to take housing back into their own hands.